What's going on YouTube? Today I got this 2013 Nissan Altima with the V6 3.5 liter. Now I'm going to be showing you how to replace this left front CV axle. The problem with the axle, one, it's leaking grease and two, it's vibrating on acceleration. So the customer decided to go ahead and do it. That's what I recommend it. And I'm going to show you how to do it today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so I can continue to make videos like this to make your life easier. Let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is take this ABS sensor out of the way. I always take these sensors out of the way because you do not want to damage the sensor because these little guys are about a hundred bucks, sometimes more. Just go ahead and pull that out of your way. Pulls right out. And just lean that aside. All right. The second thing I'm going to do is. This clip on the brake line, take you some cutting dikes, pull that on that clip, get your brake line out of the way because you're going to have to pull forward on this and you're going to need that slack. Third, I'm going to be taking the strut bolts out. I'm going to want to hold the other side so. going to be a 21 millimeter on both sides. Now wiggle the hub and pull these bolts out. Now push forward. All right. Now we're going to be taking this uh, axle nut off. You can do that before or you can do it after. It doesn't really matter. But first you got to take your cotter pin out. And cutting dikes work good for bending that pin up. And spin your wheel around to get to the other side of the cotter pin. Just grab it and keep working it out. And we're going to be reusing that. Unless the axle comes with a new one. Sometimes you get a new one. Depends on what brand of axle you get. If not, you can reuse that. Now we're going to be taking this axle nut off. I think it's a 32 millimeter. Yes. Now if you don't have a good gun at home or an air gun, you're going to have to break this loose by hand. You're going to need a long breaker bar, a 32 millimeter, and you're going to want the car in park so the wheel don't turn. In some car, uh, it might turn still, even in park. You're going to want to have someone put their foot on the brake. They put their foot on the brake, then you'll be able to take this off. Cause the brake uh, pads will have this rotor clamp tight so it won't spin. Take your axle nut off. Let's hold on to that because sometimes you'll get a new nut, sometimes you won't. Like I said, it depends on the brand of axle you get. And I always recommend getting a new axle, not a rebuilt. You're going to hit this. Now, if you're not good at hammering, I suggest putting a center punch in right there. That way you don't hit the hub. If you hit this, you'll bend it and you won't be able to put the wheel back on. Alright. Still got a little bit more to go. 
hammer. Just keep beating it till it's all the way out of that hub. Pull down your hub. There you go, like that. Just get all that out of your way. We're gonna pop it out of the transmission. Sometimes these are a booger to get out, sometimes they're easy. Just keep working your little pry bar. I think it popped out. Go just like that. Now the reason why I use a small pry bar on the back side right there, you're gonna want to pull out your axle while you're working it, is because Nissan decided on these uh, CVT transmissions to put this little lip right here that's completely in your way from putting a big pry bar underneath the car like normal. So just get you a little pry bar, a little curve right there. Y'all saw what I did. Just work it out as you're pulling out on the axle. And that one came right out as you noticed. If that lip wasn't there, we'd be able to put a long pry bar under the frame and pop it out from the bottom. But at least it came out pretty easy. Now, I'm going to pause this video for a few minutes because I'm still waiting on my part. So, I'll see y'all for the install as soon as I get my part. Until then, peace. Alright YouTube, I'm back here with this axle. I just got my part. Got a Duralas new CV shaft assembly. This is from AutoZone. And it depends on where you want to get it from, but I've had pretty good luck with these AutoZone axles. The Duralas brand. As long as it's the right part. And we're about to find out right now. your old axle put them side by side there you go and this is why we check our parts because this is wrong notice how much fatter that is than this side in those grooves are different I guarantee they sent me one for a four cylinder this is a v6 so I'm gonna tune this out and we'll tune back in when I get the right part all right YouTube I'm back I got my axle I've already side by side of them now some of these aftermarket axles they won't come with that bushing it's just a noise dampener and all it is it absorbs vibration but I've never had any problems putting an axle in without that and also if you notice these little cutouts, see the cutouts right there? They're a little different, but that's no big deal either. The main thing you want to look for is the same length, the same spline design, and the same spline design on the other end where it pops into the transmission, the same width. This part right here is what goes into the axle seal to seal it up from leaking trans fluid. And these little the grooves right here, they just... Uh, Fluid just flows through them. It just whisks the fluid away from the seal. That's all it does. And this is going to be garbage. There's no core on it because this is a new axle. New axles generally don't have a core. So let's get this bad boy back in and finish this video. Now, when putting your axle in, be very careful not to hit that seal right there and damage it. Try to get it right in the middle and wiggle it till you feel it click into the splines and just sometimes you can push it just like that I use the axle as kind of like a hammer if you watch don't pull out too far because you'll pull it out of the housing and pull the boot off just slam it in slam it in slam it in and it'll push the axle in once you feel it seat it won't go in any further 
gonna take the other end and line it up with your splines on your hub. Push it all the way in. Go ahead and thread your bolt down all the way by hand. That way it doesn't pull out on you. Grab along the back side and push out all the way. All right, now we're gonna put it back into the strut. Grab one of your bolts, take your bottom arms, pull up while you're wiggling, line your holes up, and push your bolt back through. Now it doesn't matter which way you put these bolts. You can put them in either way. I just generally put bolts back in the way I took them out, if all possible. I like to get all these bolts started, then I'll tighten everything down towards the end. Go ahead and put your brake line back in. It only lines up one way. A little notch, a little arrow down there goes in right there. You'll fill it seat. And take your clip. You can grab anything. Socket works. Tap it back in till it seats. Go ahead and route my ABS wire back to where it goes. Now that everything's secured, I know it ain't gonna pull out or pull on the wire. It doesn't take much to damage these wires. You can pull on this wire and it might not look broke on the outside insulation, but those little tiny wires on the inside of that insulation will break. Just a little flex. That just a half an inch is enough to rip those wires. I've done it. I know that's why I stress it every time I do a video. Alright, now we can start tightening everything down. Sorry if you hear a little bit of wind noise at the fan on, it's pretty hot today. Just snug it real good. If you've got an air gun and your 32 millimeter socket, if you don't have an air gun, use a long breaker bar and just tighten it as tight as you can by hand. And if you got a torque wrench, probably about 200 foot pounds is tight enough. But I just like to, I just run them down until they seat in a few more seconds. And once you put this uh, cancellation nut back on, and this cotter pin, that nut ain't gonna come loose. You wanna just keep turning this cancellation nut until it lines up with the hole. That looks pretty good. Take your hammer. Sometimes that doesn't wanna go back in. So what I do, you know, all right, I've worked on a couple other cars waiting for this axle, so all the tools I had over here ain't over here anymore. I'll take this pin and put it on the flat surface, because they didn't give me a new one with this axle, so. And if I can't get this to go back in, I'll go dig one up. Yeah, it's almost like the hole on this new axle is not drilled big enough. Yeah, that's what it is. Usually that hole's big enough. So, follow me. to no man's land and we're gonna dig up a cotter pin
Where are they at? Too small. Well. I, I preferably want a thick one. Yeah, it's probably a little better. That's the best one I can find. Yeah, you can tell the boss it's time to replenish some stuff. So I got these two here. I think that one might be better. It's thicker. You want the thickest one you can find that'll fit in that hole. And I'll take those dikes again. Okay. All right. Just bend it forward. Just to where it can't come out. Kind of wish that was a little bit longer, but it'll work. But if uh, your axle hole is big enough, reuse the old one if you can. But it ain't going nowhere. Anyways, let's go ahead and tighten down the struts, bolts. Let's get that 21 on the other end. Let's tighten it real good. Just when the nut stops, give it a few more seconds with your gun. Now, like I said, if you're using a, a breaker bar, you just tighten them as tight as you can by hand. They're not going to come loose. It's just a little more work. All right. Now we tighten our... Yeah, like I said, I uh, worked on a few more things whenever I was waiting for this part so it's not don't get crazy with it it's plastic all right just go over yourself tight 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 good and that's how you do it and we're gonna put our wheel on and we're gonna test drive and there's no need to put any trans fluid in this so we don't lose any when we take that axle out and generally if you just lose a little bit when you pull the axle out it's usually not enough to uh, worry about having the top fluid off but it's not a bad idea to check it anyways so, anyways i hope this vi video has been informative y'all please have a good day please subscribe check like peace out youtube